Gary Sanger entered long uh, on a pullback uh, at 9.02. The initial up move was strong. Internals were strong. And the 38% retracement was at the Globex high. Is there a reason this wasn't valid? Um, you know, the only reason that I'd be careful with that is that the market had not taken out initial resistance yet. So here's what I mean. If uh, in the morning, the move that we got had pushed beyond the zone, right? Let's say, you know, instead of stopping right at the top of the zone, you know, it looked more like this, right? In that case, you could measure this and you could buy the 38% because the zone has cleanly been taken out, right? That is the type of pullback that I like to trade. This one, the reason I was so careful with the pullback idea and I wasn't interested in buying 38% is because the market failed at the upper edge of balance, right? And we never actually took this zone out by, you know, anything meaningful, right? I mean, if you look at uh, yesterday's zone, I think initial resistance went up to like 89.5, right? So we haven't really taken out that area just yet. And that's why I wasn't interested in buying the pullback because the market is still stuck in a range. And buying pullbacks in a range uh, is a risky proposition. Buying a pullback after the market is broken out, that's a pretty high odds trade setup. So if the market had gone up higher and cleanly taken the zone out and then pulled back, this would be a very good trade. But within balance, it's uh, kind of risky. And here's how that exact same concept and pattern played out in the overnight session. So we have the swing low right over here from the overnight low. We get that directional breakout above 35.88. So we measure swing low to swing high. Here is the 38.2% retracement with the confluence of the VWAP. So this is the buying opportunity. And then eventually we get continuation into the next resistance zone at 36.02 to 3608. So this is how that setup can be traded properly as a pullback and why it didn't make sense to trade it as a pullback early in the session Monday morning. If you found this video to be helpful, be sure to share it on Twitter and Facebook.